drop a quick little update as to um, how things are going after my jaw surgery so um, as you can see here is my smile and then what I'm gonna do is actually turn sorry I love touching my hair it's a it's a thing it's a vibe so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually turn sideways which as you all know from my last video um, from my video where I opened up about my double jaw surgery, how insecure I was in about that. So I always had issues turning sideways. And even till this day, I have to like check myself and remember, girl, that's why you got the surgery and that's why it cost. You know what? I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> but um, gosh, if you've had a double jaw surgery, then you know how much it costs. We're talking not 20 grand, not 30 grand. <laughs> um, um, but this jaw surgery was life-changing and I have to check myself sometimes because turning sideways was always such an issue for me and I sometimes like forget that I can do that so I'm gonna do that so this is my side profile I even did a middle part for you guys so you guys can really see we well, see um, just the symmetry the symmetry in my face so that's why I did a middle part if you were wondering, oh my god. So let me turn sideways. Kind of tuck my hair behind my ears. Sideways smile. Head on. Facing forward. Ah, facing forward. All right, and here's the other side. Tuck my hair in. Looking down. Looking forward. Smiling. Um, so a fun fact, and I don't know if I've talked about this at all, I can't remember. Um, but you can watch my previous videos if you want more information and pictures of the x-rays. But there was actually a little bit of a complication during my surgery. If you can't remember, I was under the knife for six hours. It was supposed to be a four hour surgery, I was under there for six hours. Um, and I had two surgeons actually working on me at this, uh, not a, I don't know if it was at the same time. I don't know. I was asleep. Um, but I had two surgeons work on me and one, you know, this side went perfectly. Well, unfortunately this side, um, there was a fracture. So when they break the bone, it was supposed to kind of snap in an even way. I was told and when they snapped the bone on this side, it split. So it was like kind of fractured in a way. So it's kind of healed differently than this side, which honestly, I don't care. And it doesn't bother me. Um, but also when I look at old pictures, um, especially when I was little, I look a lot more like how I used to. But anyway, yeah. So yeah, when I look at pictures when I was younger, um, I kind of had like a little bit of a rounder face on this side and a more elongated face on this side if that makes sense like more round and more um pointed on this side um but honestly I'm very happy with the results absolutely life-changing and what I will say is a huge thank you to um if you're wondering what kind of hairbrush I'm using it is the Argon Magic hairbrush and I picked it up at TJ Max. Um, I just want to give a special thank you and I don't want to get too mushy or cry. Um, but I just want to thank Dr. Goldston for making this, um, surgery a reality. He was really one of the only and most innovative surgeons in my area. And if y'all don't know, I grew up in the Lehigh Valley in Pennsylvania. Um, and this was a very, um, uncommon procedure to get done this maxillofacial surgery and um i said that wrong maxillofacial that's better and he did such an amazing job and i cannot thank him anymore uh, just being able to smile and show my true self um was so life-changing and i'm so glad that 
I went through with it. Um, I was very emotional and uh, till this day, I almost want to cry now talking about it, but it really did change my life um, forever and allowed me to, you know, do things that I wouldn't normally do and um, made me so much more of a public speaker because I did have a lisp back then as well with the underbite and just eating in public was such a challenge. And now I'm like one of the most confident people out there. When I go and find dine, I love my food. I'm a huge foodie. Can't wait to vlog about my visits to restaurants, but it was such an emotional um, procedure that changed my life forever. And um, I don't know what caused having the underbite. Some say genetics, some say um, impact in that area. Um, but what I can disclose to you is that one, I was a cheerleader and I was a back spotter. And sometimes when the flyer would fall, sometimes they would hit me in the face. Also, um, I did have a very traumatic incident um, happen to me at the age of nine years old. And um, that actually caused a little bit of chipping in the nose, um, which kind of stunted my growth in my face. And so that kind of caused my um, cheekbones to kind of be very deficient while my bottom jaw just kept growing. And so that was a really tough time in my life. Um, just having this appearance that wasn't me. I never looked like that when I was little um, and prior to that incident. But as I began to grow and because that impact happened and maybe I'll open up more about what that was and um but it did stem into a very traumatic experience for me um I didn't really have a supportive family either um obviously my mom and my little sister were huge a huge influence but as far as extended family members um I didn't really have much support going through something like that um, so that was tough um, and, you know, being made fun of by your heart for me, but I've been able to overcome and um, God provided me with an amazing surgeon and orthodontics team. Um, they were originally called Bethlehem Orthodontics. Um, oh my gosh, I'm literally, I cry every time I talk about this, but um, an orthodontic team um spark orthodontics is now their name but they were bethlehem orthodontics when they worked on me and um they were so loving and welcoming and non-judgmental and i felt really safe there and i was just so self-conscious and i remember taking the profile oh my gosh wow it's been like what um <laughs> I got the surgery at 20 years old and it's been seven years since then and I still get emotional talking about it because it was so life-changing and um again so much happened during my recovery that I wish I could have talked more about um but I ended up actually moving and relocating to North Carolina um during my recovery so that was definitely a huge change um but now that I you know have time and I uh, graduated from with my bachelor's, went back for my master's in 2018, and I'm currently a second year PhD student. Um, so with working on my dissertation and also working full time <laughs> um, as a um, success coach, I, you know, I'm super busy, but I, I do want to put more into my passion. So anyway, my camera looks like it's about to die, but I just want to give a quick update um, and it was just awesome. I'm so thankful for the surgery and, um, love you guys. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to hear more videos, but this was my seven year update and, um, my life has seriously changed since then.